Hello, I'm John Proxy. This is Moon Base, the next step in my Itchai Odyssey. Welcome to the proximity, which is a thing I probably should be saying as well. I'm going to start a new game. Uh, because I've never played this before, I don't know why I specified that. That's sort of the gimmick. Right, so we're going to have to go into the tutorial. I have no idea what being a space cat is all about. And I'm pretty sure I read the description at the end of the last episode as well. Name my space cat. Well, obviously, is going to be called Balthazar. Because uh, I think that would be an excellent name for a cat. Um, let's go for the orange. Um... <laughs> it's going to spend 40 minutes designing my cat. Space cat. Um, that one. That one's fine. Okay, welcome to the planet. Uh, AWY227. Use the WASDA to move around. I shall. There we go. While outside, keep an eye on your oxygen and suit power levels at the top left of the screen. Right, I'm currently covering up an icon, but it's probably better than me covering up the tutorial. Let's press next. Nope, I just... Uh, that's O2, that's power. Okay, no, that's fine. You also need to eat. The bars at the top right of the screen shows your health and hunger. I need the space there. Uh, next, this looks... <laughs> I'm making a game, by the way, and this looks much better than my game. Uh... Um, I mean, I, I felt like I needed to say that because I said something especially petty. Um, but it is interesting what people notice. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I decided to play for all these is just to steal ideas, see what people do, see how people sh convey information, see what's fun, see if there's something I haven't seen before. Uh, Yes. There's some plants over there next to the base. Walk over. Left click to pick them up. There you go. This thing's like screen real estate. That little subtle line. So I actually... I, I do convey information right there, right there, and a little bit there. And it's really interesting how it works. My tutorials either pop in the middle. No, no, what do they do? I'm trying to think. You probably don't care. It's like, uh, I've got another YouTube channel if you do care called Tyrant Antagonist. Uh, I'm not going to spell that, but it's Tyrant and Antagonist overlapping each other. Uh, anyway, the point I'm making is, yeah, putting stuff right here is actually really useful. Um, use those plants to craft some food at the workbench. I'll tell you what, I'll play some more of this game, and if I have thoughts about how it relates, then I'll say, but I should... Try and get a decent chunk of this game out before I start talking. Uh, so I'm going to do some crafting. Okay, I see. Uh, that's the workbench. So I was being blind. Um, some food. Some plant slop. Times two. Eat your veg vegetables. Uh, let's craft. There we go. Left click the food in your inventory bar to equip it. Then right click to eat it. What? I need to equip it. Uh, I guess certain items are equipable. You know, I'm now covering up uh, stuff that I'm not keen on. You know what? We're just going to have to live with me covering up. I'm covering up. Oh. Just automatically goes to the left. I'm covering up some wood, the slop, and scrap metal. Uh, one of the most important tools you'll need to collect these resources uh, is a shovel. Uh, I put the word is. Uh, use these items and craft one. Okay. Oh God, I should eat some more slop, shouldn't I? Uh, nice work. Oh no, I don't. Didn't need to eat. Go into the airlock, then close the door. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I'll try and play, pay more attention. Oh my word. Um, 
That's what I get for talking, isn't it? Some. Cool. I mean, I faffed around explaining a lot of stuff I probably didn't need to explain. Uh, your base refills your suit's oxygen and power. Go into the airlock, then press it to close the door. This should not finish it. Oh, it's this. So one of the things my brother did say, because uh, I got my brother to test it out, is, why don't you just have a big arrow pointing at the thing you're talking about? And I was like, why don't I have a big arrow? <laughs> Uh, although it does seem a bit patronizing because I was like, this is the main character. It's like, everyone knows who the main character is, but like, every game is somebody's first game, right? That's not strictly true, but everybody has a first game. Um, and maybe, maybe what we want is load people who aren't necessarily as comfortable with games as you are to be able to play your game. Uh, but I feel like everyone knows I don't need to have a patronizing arrow pointing at the main character, but an arrow pointing at a workbench. Probably would have saved me a second there. Reduce the friction. Uh, that's not like a... This is, by the way, incredibly nitpicky. Uh, and I'm, just, I'm more sort of analysing what I want to learn rather than saying, oh, how dare you game for not having a, an arrow point at the thing that was clearly in the centre of the thing. Uh, the room. Bases have also limited supply of oxygen, but this one has an air cleaner to keep that keeps producing more. I also would prefer if those blue terms didn't cut off halfway through, but however, however, at night you need to supply the biofuel generator with plants or wood to keep things running. You can pick up, move base modules to rearrange them however you want. Holding down right click on the bottom habitat module to pick it up. Cool. I just did. I'll go outside, equip the... the well, you didn't tell me to go outside, but... Um, equip the module you just picked up and right-click on an empty space to place it. Modules placed adjacent to another can share their power and oxygen supply. So I don't know if... <laughs> I just hit it with my... No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Did I open it again? Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I could go around like that. You can also drop items from your inventory on the ground. Try dropping this scrap by selecting it, then pressing the Q key. Uh, while I'm pressing the Q key. Try dropping this scrap by selecting it. Is it selected? Do I have to... Doesn't seem to be dropping anything. Do I have to be outside? Yes. Yes, I do. Finally around the world. So, the other thing is... Um, so, I had to... I'm trying, the game I'm trying to make is a puzzle game as well. So, I can't necessarily talk through all the steps. Because I don't want to solve puzzles for people. Well, I sort of do. But I don't want them knowing that. Uh, especially at the start. So... I've got to say, like, how the game works. Do this to jump, do this to do this. But there's always this, like, little, like... Oh, no, I'm, I'm out, of, out of power. Uh, finally, uh, around the world, you'll find strange artifacts. You'll need to collect. Uh, you'll need to collect and process these research labs to unlock the te new tech upgrades. Oh, no, how do I... <laughs> How do I feed the generator? Okay. <laughs> Stop talking, John, or at least pause. Cool. The button opens up tech upgrade menu and lets you see all the artifacts you've discovered. Okay, so I, I can construct one of these with five samples 
And there's my cooking. There's my MK suit. Okay, cool. It's my research log. This is all very nice, by the way. Excellent. That's all for now. Good luck. Also, your workbench can now make more items. Cool. I also would have been tempted to make time slower at the beginning while people were figuring stuff out, but obviously you wasn't expecting people to suddenly start talking to an imaginary person. Uh, that's a workbench. Torch would be kind of nice, but I just gave away all my stuff. I assume I can't pick that up. I can pick it up. I was wrong. So it appears I'm playing a survival game. I say 10 minutes into a survival game. I need a new tool to pick that up. But, um... Can I walk faster? It's a very pretty game, by the way. Say that. My game doesn't look anywhere near as good as this. Um... Cool, that should be enough to experiment with things. Uh, I want to craft a torch. Um, put... Yeah. Do I need to eat? I do need to eat. Cool. Smelter. So I'm assuming the white ones are makeable. What can I dig? Small rocks and ore. Let's find some small rocks and ore. Is that a small rock or is that a big rock? That's a big rock. into a leafy plant. Well, let's put this seed. Can I plant the seed? No, but I can put it down. Is that my O2? No, Caddy! Oh yeah, I completely neglected to look at it. Breathe! Just gonna wait. That cost me quite a lot of health. Okay, that'll do. Uh, oh yeah, I was going to put... And I guess I don't really need it generating when I'm not in there, but... I need some sort of storage as well. Do you want to test something out? Cool, I can use the uh, numbers. Plus one workbench. Oh, I built a workbench? Uh, I guess I don't really need it. What are these lines? Let me put it there. Bit of a waste. Can I move it? I can. Okay. How's my O2? Okay, well, I'm getting lots of cool materials. Let's 
head back. No. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna die, Anna. Can I save my game? Ah, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't think it suddenly gets so dark so quickly, and I thought I'd be able to find where I'd lived earlier. My sense of direction is awful. Oh, they glow. Okay, we'll go do the tutorial very fast. Well, no, we don't need to do the tutorial, do we? Cancel. Okay. We apparently do need to do the tutorial. I'm very sorry. <laughs> What's this? We've got a flashlight. Where was this information? Never mind. I don't want to eat it, I'm full. So if I do this, put it here, will it shove the door on the end? No, it's useless. Does he want me to use the workbench? Oh, what's this? It's an artifact. So we want to conquer. You know what? This these lines might be because I full screened it. We want to conquer the like the local area, don't we? I genuinely don't need to fill that machine up until I've I'll keep that, I think. Until I uh, need the oxygen. This isn't the local area, John. No, but we're reasonably close. You say that, but you, we have our flashlight and it's north. We're going north. Right, Tatham Lowe's. No one's going to get that reference, John. It's not even like a challenge. Literally no one knows what you're talking about. I just want a bunch of neat stuff so I can play with it, basically. We want to go right and up. More stones would be nice, wouldn't it? Or a stone. What should the ice is for? We have lots of ore at the very least. I'm going to go back, feed the machine. It's north from here, isn't it? Go very quickly grab that. Right.
Get some oxygen and I'll drink some tea. Uh, should I pause? Because I'm a cat? While my oxygen goes up. While it's night. Uh, I do want... Can I... Inventory full. Okay, hang on. Why can't I have a safe indoor workbench? Never mind. I can just block a door with it though. Yeah, I know this is functionally useless, but I'm gonna not waste space of it. So, yeah, another torch, but I'll actually put it in the nearby area. Uh, smelter, we need more big rock. This requires metal plates. Requires metal plates. Wires. Big rocks. I'm not sure what else I can make. Hmm. What am I missing that's going to be important to me? Uh. Um. Because I've got the uh, crude shovel. Big rock, but I can't break a big rock, can I? I have no idea where to find these things. Feels like I need a smelter. Okay, let's have investigate the big, bigger rocks. It just says I need a bigger tool. Certainly can't eat it. There's a map! Is that me or... M is map! There's some green. Let's go investigate the green. Is there like a, a medium state shape stone I can get? Hang on, I need them. Um, what to get rid of? Uh, this blue shroom. Did I get that from scrap? Awesome, scrap metal is what I should be searching for then. Beyond the O2. I don't think I'm going to die, but it's going to be close. Definitely move that out of the way. Right, so we need to um, make this a less stupid shape. Being able to access that quickly would be nice. Um... Yeah. Hmm. What are you doing, John? We're just gonna put some stuff down, the electronics do. Yeah, I wanna put it. 
there, and there. Move the entrance to up top there. Can I turn it? R to rotate. I think it matters which order I put in actually now that I think about it, but um what am I doing? Let's pick that back up. Uh right, biofuel generator. We have one of those, don't we? Yes, that's what that is. We want stones. Oh we have stones. Ah, cool. Time for some helter smelter. Uh, which I guess I'm gonna put there. Nope, I'm not. I'm foreseeing an issue here. Cool. Just going to get out of the way of way over here. Cool, we can access things from, we can reach over. Cool. Some metal plates. Feels a bit like an exploit, but um. Oh, hang on, that's burning through my fuel, isn't it? Is it? Cool, we have some metal plates. Some components. We need five metal plates. We need more metal plates. Ooh, we need, um, let's get them quickly from the scrap. We should pick a direction. Uh, we should make food before we die. No, we need ore. What are you talking about, John? Not scrap, ore. Because it'd be nice to make one more thing. Um, different tool. So, yes, I didn't get as far as I would like, but that, that's sort of the nature of this half an hour thing. That any game with a kind of long tail to it isn't really going to get the chance it deserves. Uh, but we'll try and make one more decent object. And I'm not for. I will probably come back to this game as well. Some games will definitely require at least. Like, even if I don't give them all the time they deserve. Maybe a second episode, but like, gimmickly, half an hour means. Uh. uh am I starving? See, now I want to, let's make some slop. Yes. We now have our five for making 
but not biofuel. Uh, we need some electronics. Just... Oh, damn, let's. I want to make my research lab. So we're going to go a little bit more time just to get that. Which is obviously quite a good sign for the on the game's part. So I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do a little bit more. Um, but I think this sort of deserves it more than like an obvious game like Night in the Woods that everyone's heard of, right? Uh, not a lot of people probably know about Moonbase. Uh, I want a cog, don't I? Is it a cog? No, we want a card. That means we need more ore. We have a lot of ore. What are we talking about? Just make the ore. Okay, we'll, we'll do this anyway, because we're here. We'll see if we can make it with what we've got. I'll go a little bit over, but not too much. Like, five minutes max. Because... Because... Uh, <laughs> I tried double tapping to run. I don't know why I thought that'd work. At my O2. Oh, two. Ah, fuel. Oh, I don't know. It's got all sandy. That's not a great sign, is it? Do I have to clean it? I do! So I was uh, surprised by those events. Um. So what I should do So is it just because those three take the power so those two can't? Because I'm going to die at this rate. Uh, John, did you just trap yourself? Right, uh, uh I'm... Oh, you've got to tap it. Also, that was done with me. So was that. Can't make an electronics board because we don't have any wire. We don't have any wire, but oh, we can just make wire. Yep. Lovely. We have a research lab. Let's put one down. So yeah, my idea was that that should be adjacent, so you could access it from inside the base. So I have some artifacts. Let's research them. That'd be a good way to end the episode, I think. That's going to be two minutes. I tell you what, uh, I'll pour. I'll, I'll do a wibbly wobbly woo. Can I just chuck another one in there to increase the speed? No, I can't. You know, I may, may not. But it's doing the scan. No, we won't. We won't fast forward. We will. Oh, 
try and play this game in earnest. It would be pretty frustrating if I died. I died! We didn't get to do the research! Okay, uh... I think... Oh, why did it put... Oh, it's great. <laughs> I died, sorry. That's terrible. Uh, right. Uh, I'm... When I say that's terrible, it's terrible that I was bad enough that I died right before the C the uh, research was done. Uh, the game, uh, it seems nice. Uh, it seemed like... If I owned this game and not a thousand and seven hundred more I had to go through, I probably would have played more of it. I certainly would have... Uh, I assume you, you, you can't save like that. It's posed. Oh, they made the pun before I did. Oh. Um, anyway, let's have a look at what the next game is. Right, so uh, this is a new segment, which is Impressions. So, uh, uh, I, sh I showed my series to some people online and said, uh, you know, I'm going to try and play through all the itch.io games. And somebody said, um, hey, why aren't you, like, you know, doing reviews? Why aren't you actually saying what you feel about the games? I'm like, I don't, I don't, don't know why. <laughs> that seems like a really good idea. Uh... So what, what I'm going to do now is, after every game, I'm going to pop into this game. This is a spoiler for the next video, to be honest. But um, that says A really, if you can't, if you can't see what it says. Uh, and I'm going to try not to get preoccupied with this game. So yes, I'm going to land this dude. And give my impressions of Moonbase, because I'm obviously distracting myself. So yes. Uh, so, Moonbase... So it's sort of important to me, by the way, I should probably mention straight away, that uh, I um, I leave it a certain amount of time. I don't want to finish the 30 minutes and then immediately start talking about the game. I want to wait 30 minutes. I, I want to wait a day, sleep on it, and then go back and say my thoughts. And here are my thoughts. My thoughts are this. Um, it is the first game where I said, where I thought, oh, this is a, this is a programmer like me. But much better. Somebody who's actually made a game that's functional, but I can uh, 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 I can sort of feel the game, the programming. I I can see the individual behind it, um, and so it made me much nitpickier. Uh, I was much more likely to go, oh, I can see the seams, um, but I'm going to try and ignore that for these impressions, uh, which is also a name suggested to me because I'm only playing thirty minutes. Can't really do a review. Uh, but I can do some impressions. Uh, but if, if I'm going to talk about survival games, I'm going to have to say what my experience is with other survival games. Uh, so I haven't played a lot of survival games. I know there are two types to sort of spring to mind. One is don't. Is it called Don't Die Alone? Let's say that it is, and let's assume that you know what I'm talking about. Don't Die Alone has a, uh, a very unique. Uh, aesthetic. You know what? Let's not say unique, but it's striking. It is identifiable. It's gothic. It's that kind of German gothic idea. And the thing about that game is, it is sort of similar to Moonbase in that it's top down and it's you, you know, walking flat and trying to obtain stuff. The other type of survival game, which I haven't really played, is the first person survival games. And they tend to lean on sort of quote-unquote realisticness. You're in the middle of a forest. You have to kill people and survive. Uh, but it's it's less like that and more like the first example. So the thing with that first example is the gothicness works really well for it. The idea that uh, it's sort of painful to live in this world and there's a sort of... Uh, Foreboding? What is it? There is an atmosphere that goes with it with being harsh. You're going to die here, probably, is the atmosphere. And a tiny issue I have, and I cannot overstate this, 
I'm being nitpicky right now, is that moon base is uh, it just seems sort of lovely, and it looks really nice. Like I can't, as somebody who has to draw for their own game, I can't draw, and like I'm like, oh, that looks really good. I wish I could draw that well, but it it isn't an atmosphere that screams survive in this world. I'm a cat, and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a cat. Uh, but I'm I never do I feel like, oh, I'm a cat and I need to survive in this world. So there, there is that sort of thing. Um, and I'm having to sort of draw in on, on this because I can't exactly see the uh, the long tail of it. Uh, those games, what they actually have is a sort of promise, right? Uh, you know, if you get this stuff, then you're going to be able to stand above it and look down and go, look how far I've come. And... But f by doing that, you also kind of need to be able to look at, stand below and look up and go, look how far I can go. And it was quite hard to see that. Now, admittedly, that was because I died a couple of times during the half an hour. Um, and so, like, I'd be further, I'd be able to read one of those artifacts. The artifacts are definitely in there as a sort of tease. Oh, look at the, the knowledge you can gain. But again, it's this aesthetic as a cat spaceman, which is cute and all. But it's not one that screams, I must learn more. Like, there could be loads to it. But the way it's depicted, I'm not going to know that outright. Because it's not giving me enough information straight away. Uh, and that's all I like. Everything I say about it seems like it's unfair. It seems like I'm being nitpicky. But it also seems like that game's not finished. And I can tell it's not finished. Like, I couldn't tell at a glance that, oh, there's these other trees that are missing. Like, there might have been a couple. But that's all it felt like. So, like, if, if it's, like, a six-hour survival game, that actually could be really good, but I only played half an hour of it. But, like, it's all illusion at this point. It's all promise, and I wasn't getting that promise. And I, like, I, I hate saying that because it seems really mean to say because it was, like, it was a really pretty game, and I was a bit rubbish at it. The other thing is, and I mentioned this in the video, I think it could do with just uh, being a bit kinder at the beginning. This is a game that, oh, it's hard, you see. Like, I don't know, because you might want it to be harsh, because that's the point of the game. But while you're in the tutorial, I died because I was faffing in the tutorial trying things. And I think it could, I think it could ease people in. Just a little bit nicer. But it, it works. Uh, I would have. I would have kept playing. I don't know how long I would have kept playing, though. But I... Had had I not been forcing myself to play... Like, it was the first game that I was like, Oh, I'll just do a couple more minutes. And I only stopped because I died. So there was something in there. There was something that was keeping me playing. I just want to go over this next little hill. I just want to unlock the next little thing. So I had that going for it. And it didn't seem deceptive or cheeky. But it there was something about... Like, I just couldn't quite see... What I was aiming for, and I don't know if that's fair or not. Anyway, um, this is the next game I'm actually playing, so there's a little spoiler for you. I suspect that most people, I don't know if anyone's going to be watching every single video on this list, but if you do, like, yeah, I, I may have ruined this game. But like, you're, I'm recording this after I've played the next game. By the way, um, anyway, uh, let's go back to the past. Where I do my outro. Right. Uh, that was Moonbase. Our next game is Art School. Let's draw. Let's uh, see if we can learn a bit more about what that is. Art School. Welcome to Art School. You are a freshman at Art School. Your assignments are generated and graded by an AI. Can a video game make you more creative? Can a video game make you a better artist? Can you graduate from art school? I don't know. That's on you. Okay. Let's do some art. Right, uh, I, uh, I've been uh, John Proxy. Uh, apart from that brief time when I was a cat. Um, this has been my foray. There it is again. The word foray. Don't use the word foray, John. You clearly don't know when you're supposed to use the word foray. This has been an experience that I, for some reason, have decided to call Itchai Odyssey, uh, where we attempt to play through 
so many, so many games from the uh, HIO Racial Justice Bundle. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.